Hi guys. So I got this aquarium home. I carried it up three flights of stairs all on my own. It's quite a large parcel. It's a little bit heavy. I still don't know if the material is glass or plastic. I asked the guy at Pet Barn. He said he didn't know. So the way it felt, I don't know whether it's, I don't know what it's say. It felt like it was halfway between plastic and glass. It wasn't light. It probably weighed about maybe 20 kilos. 15, 20, maybe even 25 kilos. I was pooped. I had to take a break halfway through carrying it up the stairs. So anyway, let's show you what it looks like. Now let's waste no time and get to unboxing. I'm going to put this on time lapse, guys. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like. I'm hoping it's not too heavy for this little chest of drawers here. It's going to be 87 kilograms. 23 gallons. Now I brought some plants as well. These were quite expensive. I think this one was 18. And this one was 30. But I like the little flowers, the little purple flowers. But anyway, this is what it comes with. You got your filter there, you got your power adapter for the lights. Oh wait, it even comes with a little thermometer. That's handy, pandy. Alright guys, I'll let you know what it looks like when it's set up. Oh yeah. So this is my Fluval Aquarium. It's a 87 litre aquarium, which is I think it's 23 gallons. It's got a little feeder here. You've got lights here and you've got a dim thing which brings up the purple light. You can obviously lift this up. This is the fish I've got in there at the moment. Now he's meant to be a green terror, but he's been bred with something else. He's not just a green terror. They're not normally quite as beautiful as this, but I, I plan on, I'm thinking of getting a bigger tank and breeding him. I'm not sure whether I will yet or not. I think I will, I think I will. But the, the model up from this one is like $720. But, you know, what's money meant for except for spending, so... It would make me happy if I had a bigger aquarium here. Make this guy happy too. He looks a bit sad. I got him yesterday. He's been here for about just over 24 hours. He's not eating. And uh, he's only been here for 24 hours. But I did a water test. Just before. And it came up quite high in ammonia. I don't know why. So I did an instant. About a 25% um, water change. And I haven't tested it since then. I might test it again tomorrow. I'm not sure if it's just the debris in the gravel that is decomposing. When I was siphoning it up with my Python siphon, it um it did pick up a bit of rubbish around here, which is where he does tend to hang out. I don't know if it's poop or whether it's just rubbish in the gravel. I did give the gra gravel a rinse when I first got it. I put it in a bucket and I filled the bucket up and drained it twice and before I put the gravel in the aquarium. This is the filter it comes with. It's pretty good, except the sticks, the uh, suction cups, don't really work that well. It keeps coming undone. Especially when I'm doing a water change, it'll come undone and it'll start hanging, it'll come down, it'll come off the wall. So that's, just take note of that, guys. 
It's a good tank. It looks beautiful. As you can see, it's got seamless edges. There's no... It's beautiful. The only thing I don't like is that it's very shallow. See, that's it's only a couple of inches across. Like I said, it's a 70... I want 78 litre one. 23 gallons or 26 gallons, something like that. But um, the one I'm going to get, it's pretty much the same dimensions. It is a tiny bit longer, same height, but what it is is a whole lot long, a whole lot wider. It comes up to about here. So if the one I'm looking at getting is a um, 127 liter. Don't ask me how many gallons that is. But I want this guy to be happy. And he seems a bit claustrophobic in this tank, especially considering the tank that I got him from. That was like a 300 liter one. It was massive. So he's, he's, I understand if he's a bit sad, but I'll, I'll try and make it up to him and getting the the bigger fill, the bigger um aquarium soon. Like I said, this this aquarium cost me two hundred and sixty dollars, and the one I'm getting, mind you, the one I'm getting comes with a stand, a pretty nice stand too, my lad, from what I've seen. And it's seven hundred and twenty dollars, so it's quite a bit more expensive. It's almost three times the cost of this tank. And I love these plants; they're so beautiful. They're two plants. They're artificial, the plastic ones, but they still look very nice. They look nicer in person. You can't really see the details. Can you see the details? See those little... Yeah, it looks quite nice. So yeah, I'm thinking of, I might pick it up tomorrow. We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. So as you can see, he doesn't look very happy. Look at that growth. He looks smaller on the video than what he really is. He's huge. He's at, probably got to be at least 10 inches. So I want to breed him before he dies because he's so beautiful. Alright guys, thanks for watching, let me know what you think of my little fish, his name's Egg, because he's got an egg on his head, so I don't know, I don't know why, I don't know why I called him Egg, I think it's a cool name, alright guys, let me know what you think of Egg, do you like him, should I breed him, I don't know about breeding, can I breed him in a single tank, I don't know, but all I know is that the guy that I bought him off had a, a female red terror of a similar size, that I can hopefully breed. I've sent him a message and I've sent him an email and he hasn't gotten back to me. Hopefully he will. But either way, I've got to upgrade this, this tank for poor old Eggies. He looks a bit sad. He hasn't been eating. He hasn't eaten in over 24 hours. So That's how long I've had him. So I've had him over 24 hours and he still hasn't eaten anything. Alright guys, tell me what you think of the little fella. Bye.